you're watching this, I'm dead. Still flourishes in Gotham, lurking in every shadow. You don't need that mask. I know it's you, Rachel Ghoul. You allowed this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? Parlor streets will not save Gotham from his record. Not now. This city is still under my protection.
You'll be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them one by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. I can. I know you have to. I'm sorry it's come to this. Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. Haven't trusted us since Jim died. You are clear to engage. Grenade! I'm leaving you the Belfry as a base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. <laughs> and... He was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. There's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? And it doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom? Positive ID on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Ah! <laughs> 
Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for... whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. He wanted us to work this together. Whatever. That's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Langstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it. We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. 
And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but it would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. You well. Pretty sure he told you to stay out of Gotham. Dead men's wishes don't concern me. Besides, I'm here to clean up my father's mess. Which in this case is the demon himself. You're just burning him? Might be hard to bring Raish back if he's Ash, Talia. Even a Lazarus pit has some limits. Wait! Why was he after Bruce? somewhere all right okay lab notes formulas financial records research into hearing loss human experimentation and trials that looks like cash payouts to volunteers I recognize some of these jerks they're all known gang members so Langstrom was doing medical experiments on criminals you're crowding me Miss Gordon. The hollow imaging system is back online as of this morning. Perfect timing, Alfred. Hey, I forgot how sweet your setup was, Babs. It's ancient, but it'll do for now. You and Master Bruce are the only two people in the entire world who would consider the Belfry systems ancient. While researching Langstrom, I also called up all we've got on... our party crasher. Talia Al Ghul. She was a match for Master Bruce in more ways than one. Her presence in Gotham is concerning. So is the fact that she torched her old man's body. We sure that was Ra's al Ghul? His DNA was all over the weapon she left behind. I wonder why she didn't take a chance and use a Lazarus pit to revive him. Well, Batman would just find Talia and ask her himself. Good thinking. Yeah, I can double check Talia's kunai for trace materials that we can track. We should also hit the streets, find out if anyone had any beef with Langstrom. Sweet. Time to bust some skulls. Batman told you that you and your league weren't welcome in Gotham, Talia. I'm not their commander. They cast me out. Hard to believe leadership of the league isn't hereditary. You saying you didn't get the job after you asked Raish? My late father insisted Bruce would be the next head of the league, despite his refusal. Since that ill-fated duel, 
All the League can agree on is carrying out Raish's mission. Why would Raish kill his next in line? None of this makes sense. I agree. It was an irrational win. I warned him the Batman would be his downfall. But repeated exposure to the Lazarus Pits breaks down a subject's mind. Eventually, their true self is erased. I know you, Talia. You could have used your father as a puppet if you wanted to. There's something else here. Consider it a logical choice. A painless end for him and closure for the League. And for me. <laughs> now they want me dead. Why don't you just move on then? Take a vacay in Fiji. Leave Gotham. I have other matters to attend to. The funeral was tasteful. I'm sure Bruce would have appreciated it. Leave him where he is. You still haven't answered my question. No, but I can ask you one. Why would an apprentice to the cow break into the morgue? I know you weren't following me. It's an ongoing investigation. Ongoing? Left behind by Bruce. I wish you the best of luck. You'll be needing it soon. Because once the League regains its footing, Gotham will be in its sights. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, expecting Bruce to call me for help. And then I remember. I thought it might have been one of you calling just now. I was worried. Old habits, I suppose. That's why I thought going to Bloodhaven alone would be easier. But it wasn't. I won't be like him, Alfred. Bruce left some big shoes to fill. But I'm gonna do things my way. And I'll be here to support you. Gotham is in good hands. So, what do you think? This place is quite remarkable. It's certainly brighter than the Batcave. <laughs> I wish Bruce could see this. It's not the manor, but I think he'd like it. I know he would. Because this is your home. No matter how hard we try, there's always more to do. But, Bruce never gave up. And neither will we. Protecting Gotham is a difficult endeavor. One that Bruce knew you would face. So, he made sure that you would have everything you'd need to succeed. Of course he did. You could visit him? I could what? 
He went to yours when... You could visit his grave. You haven't. I'm not the one staring at the... You know. Sometimes you're an idiot, Grayson. Alfred? Richard? know more than anyone that being a leader has a cost. You needn't shoulder it all alone. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You know, at times, you can be much like Bruce. I'm nothing like him. <clears throat> Of course not. So unlike him, you would never push through an injury. I'm fine. <clears throat> See? Knowing when to take the help that's offered is a sign of a good leader. Figured I'd find you here. I mean, not here, here. But, somewhere like here. It's nice. Homie. Real homie. I like what you did with the, uh, bricks. I bet I could stay up here all night. Sure you can. Dick? Dick! I was an acrobat, you know. <laughs> Fine, you can sit. But you have got to shut up.
All right, I've put up with this for an hour. You wanted to talk. So talk. Oh. Uh... We can do this another time. Got a shower. Is it about Bruce? What? Makes you think that. I know everything about you, Dick Grayson. You love flaky cereal. You cried when I broke up with you. And do you check out your own ass in the mirror every chance you get? But mostly I know that you keep not looking at that suit. Pretty sure I broke up with you. You know what? Fine. Yes. It's about Bruce. We fought. Before I went to Bloodhaven. He told me never to take the mask up. Not like him. Babs, it's taking everything I have not to screw this up. Everything he built... It's in my hands. You don't have to do it alone, dumbass. Why do you think Bruce trained all of us? I always forget how smart you are. Okay, this is gross. <laughs> you are really sweaty. <laughs> hey! Got this, Bruce. So Harley contacted Batman using, I don't know, a homing pigeon and a USB drive? And that's how we got this video? Help. Do we think it's legit? Bruce never talked to me about it. When Bruce worked with criminals, he didn't exactly keep us in the loop. Yeah, it's not you, Tim. But it's also not crazy to think that Harley made this up. Just play it. Then we'll know. been out of Gotham ever since, you know, her ex? Killed me? Isn't that what you meant? Rumor has it she did some government thing. Went straight. Ish. She's got something. 
Then we go find Harley. Now. You gotta eat. Wouldn't want you to lose them. Glutes. It's, uh, good to see you two. Uh-huh. Was it too much to ask you to visit earlier? Batman asked you to look into something. Can you tell me what it was? Wait a second. The Bats is dead. For real? Well then. He asked me to profile some criminals. On account of my being a brilliant psychiatrist. Now why wouldn't he ask a criminal to do that? Hey! I am not a criminal. I misunderstood. Come on. Can you just give me a little something? Everything is in this book. But I'm missing my peace day resistance. I need you to follow up on this card. That'll make it perfect. Charles, why don't you just give me the book? It should be down in records. Okay. Bye. The night is looking up. You're back. I got what you wanted. I think. Gibby. Now, how will I get this to you? Attached it to a balloon. Hmm. Wow. 
Harley's profiled some seriously antisocial prisoners here. Look, something's going on at Blackgate. We lean on that warden, we're set. No, these records go back centuries, man. The warden's new. Doubt she's involved. How did I miss this? Oh, right. Harley's stupid system makes no sense. Babs. Hey, Babs, what did you figure out? <laughs> they all got out on appeal. That's what Harley was tracking. In every case, key witnesses were murdered. Look. They were all pinned up with knives, just like Langstrom. Bruce is onto something. Oh? I think I've got something. Oswald Cobblepot, the penguin. He's like everyone else in here, except he served his sentence every single time he was arrested. Someone must have hung him out to dry. Might be he's willing to talk. He runs the Iceberg Lounge now. Claims he went legit. <laughs> he definitely runs more than liquor through that bar. I wouldn't know. That man would never take me. <laughs> if you wanted a fake ID, Tim, all you had to do was ask. Oswald's dangerous. And we can't forget, Harley's still out there. We have to be careful. <laughs> Relax. Dick. We got this. That door's sandalwood. Custom job. Fixing it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I have questions. Tell me what you know when I leave. Smile. Viral video of you assaulting a reformed citizen is the last thing you need right now. Reformed, huh? I believe that when I see it. It is weird you did your time, though. Unlike your friends. Hmm. Someone's done their homework. Who's giving out the get-out-of-jail-free cards? If you really want to go down this rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. Just tell me what I need to know. I'm gonna spell this out for you. With the back gone, you're not worth my time. Get lost. I used to be someone I didn't want to be. But now... I'm free. You can be too. Guys, come check this out. Dick, it's upside down. I got it. Hmm. Harley's an actual shrink. Why is she selling healing bracelets? Supplements? <sighs> what the hell's a free glow egg? Huh. Who would even buy that crap? She knows this stuff doesn't work. So what's her angle? Most Gothamites will see her be involved in one or more violent crimes a month. You know, statistically speaking. What's that got to do with anything? She's selling them hope. Oh, crap. Come to the Monarch Theater tonight. I've got an explosive announcement just for you. She definitely means explosive, literally.
the Dr. Q you have in you. Ah. Oh, look! A hero coming to stop me from helping you. What do we say? Don't worry. That's why I made this. This little thing will give you the courage to do what you always wanted to do. An implant that lets you take on the world. Gotham, come on. This is Harley Quinn. Whatever's in that is bad for you. Ugh. I bet you want to see it in action. Oh, boys! <laughs> Why don't you give him a demonstration? Thankfully, Dr. Q has an extra strength model. Why don't we try this again? <laughs> Looks like your product didn't work. <laughs> it helped us get you where you need to be. Isn't that right, Quinners? Free. I think I found the bombs. Echo protocol is a go. You all did so well. I'm so proud of you. Get your free implants from my friendly associates on your way out. The Q has left the building. If you've seen this video, it means we're all alive. A bit boring, really. <laughs> oh, don't worry, it ain't all bad. I got one last little surprise for you. She gave me an F for glutability? And that's a helpful note to do more squats? I don't care what you have to do. Keep your barricade up. <laughs> Good night. Aren't they all? Nothing better than the smell of Gotham burning. There's still no sign of Harley. This is ridiculous. What do soccer moms and yoga dads need to riot for? And I thought you were joking before. I'll check it out. Be careful. I'll have to do a lot of paperwork if you die. There. She's on L3. I got you, Harley. I always wanted to do this.
that's how you're controlling them. Give it. Nah, -uh. my toy. Your game is over, Harley. <laughs> As if. This has been in the works since Blackgate. Welcome to my party. <laughs> Pretty boring party, especially for you. out of here. Taking me back to Blackgate. Like a gentleman. Yeah, that's Batman, all right. But I think you're getting the hang of taking criminals off the street and stuff. Uh huh. I got dozens in holding and a triage nurse who hates me. I'm just gonna blame you, cool? So business as usual then? Don't be a smart ass. I'm gonna be dealing with this headache for weeks. Nah, you got it in hand. Oh, yeah. I got a full desk of open cases that says... God damn it! <laughs> you tell anyone about this clown girl, I'll gag you! So you can use a door after all. You know what I want. not to answer them. Gotham's elite keep getting a pass on Blackgate. But not you. So what? 
Forget the secret handshake? They were favored. I wasn't. Favored by... But no one talks about them. Not a whispered word is said. The Court of Owls is a myth. <laughs> Powers Club? Yep. Where the super rich go for shits and giggles. Might be worth a peek. Personally, I stay far away from that raptor's nest. But you're good with sending me there. Typical. I lost years of my life to Blackgate. You go do what you do best. Just don't tell them I sent you. Colonel Kane. Sergeant Pennyworth. I'm sorry I had to push our meeting so late. Work never seems to stop in this city. Oh, I can certainly relate. The paperwork hasn't let up since Bruce's passing. <sighs> yeah. I still can't believe it. Burying Bruce was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Do you remember what I told you after Martha and Tommy? You said, life matters when death matters. We take the living for granted until they're gone. I don't know what the Wayne Foundation will do without Bruce. I trust Master Grayson has been helpful? As you adjust? Yeah, he sure has. Dick had his first investor call the other day. I'm surprised how well he did. Every day I find... You geezers escape from the old folks home. Don't you know it's dangerous out here at night? Every day I find new reasons to be proud. Empty your pockets or empty the gun. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Quite the about face. That punk didn't know who he was messing with. Come inside. We'll have a drink. Catch up. Don't have to twist my arm. Let's not be long, though. I wouldn't want anyone to worry. Death has cleared the way for our new acquisition. Good. However, do try to be careful where you let them dig, my dear. As for that other issue... We've already bribed the Senators. I've been assured your bill will pass early next month. Wonderful. <laughs> I am all dealing with filth. I'm sorry, madam. We need to get you to safety. Trespasser! I am. This miserable scum! 
kill them! The voice of the court comes. He will dictate the punishment. Cannot forgive your failure. You will atone with blood. Don't do this. I won't do anything. And you, Vernon, do not belong here. <laughs> the last time an intruder set foot here was more than a century ago. The punishment for this insult remains the same. <laughs> Those are human bones. This is not good. Did you know that Bruce was looking into the court? I didn't. There were few things he kept from me, but this was unfortunately one of them. For me too. We managed to log some voice recordings of the court, but they're difficult to make out. You sure? You just forget to hit play. Tim. You know, you weren't the first Robin, kid. Or the second. A bunch of files got corrupted. I'll run some diagnostics, see what I can recover. Let's see if Master Bruce left us any more clues. Margie, the tattooed lady, would tell us stories about the court back at Haley's Circus. He used to say they were watching and they'd steal us away if we gave a bad performance. Always assumed it was just circus legend. Not at all. There are a number of references to the court in Gotham's history, but nothing concrete. I can't authenticate any of these sources. Supposedly some wingnut wrote a tell-all book about them. But it's a legend in and of itself, so... Shame, really. Such a work would have made a wonderful addition to the library. The earliest version of the court rhyme is from the 1700s. And says they're after the Fountain of Youth. <laughs> Seem pretty kill-happy for people who want eternal life. Those aren't mutually exclusive. There were a lot of bodies in that pit. And one of them was holding this. Might open something useful. Our scans revealed an isotope embedded in the metal. It definitely has a match. It's a key. So? Let's find the door.
I knew one of his protégés would come eventually. Bad news. I stopped your buggy from stealing Star Lab's data. Whatever my associates are after is their business. I have what I came for. You killed people, Freeze! What are you even after? My time is valuable. I will not waste any more of it talking to you! <laughs> System compromised. Please vacate the area. We're running out of air. Help us! Use the rail gun! You're with Batman, right? We spoke earlier. Thank God you came when you did. Quick thinking, calling for help. He took all of our cryo gel. It's enough to drain the thermal energy from Gotham three times over. That could freeze the whole city. Don't worry, we won't let that happen. Do me a favor. When GCPD gets here, tell them what you told me. I will. Again, thank you. We need to find that cryogel. And take down Freeze. He killed that scientist. Just to spite us. And then... He got away! He said it was Batman's fault. Bruce promised him a cure for his condition. And in return, Bruce is supposed to behave. But I guess with Bruce gone, he's back in the game. What have you got, Sam? Judging from the list of stolen items, I'd say he's looking to upgrade his exosuit. And that's just for starters. He also downloaded local weather balloon data for the past 10 years. Let's go back out there and stop Breeze before he kills anyone else. Yes! Easy, Tiger. We'll get him. Maybe that's enough practice for today. I've set the back computer to monitor the city for high concentrations of cryogel. Meanwhile, we should keep tabs on anyone working for Freeze, which should be easy since he decks out all of his lackeys with cryo guns. Is this something in the weather report about an ice age? Be advised, extreme weather events in progress. Temperatures have fallen 60 degrees in just minutes. An extreme cold front? Weather doesn't do that. Not without some help. Freeze. Freeze can make weather now? Freeze can make weather now. The storm is localized around Elliott Center. We need to get there now. Free. The disruptor's in place and charging. Get away from my storm engine! Come on, Freeze. You know how this works. You won't want to be here when this thing goes off. Irrelevant! I already have what I need! A storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. I can. This ends here now. Ah. 
I warned you, Freeze. System overload. Cryogel cycling offline. Hard reset required. A reset button. This feels like a bad idea. Okay, okay. System reset successful. Cryogel cycling online. Freeze? You still with us? You should have let me die. It would have been... so much easier for you. <laughs> The weather machine is offline and the storm is clearing. Good. But... Freeze, there's something else going on in that snow globe of his. Victor always had the potential to bring disaster to Gotham. Until tonight, a kernel of humanity stopped him. And now... It's up to me. We don't have much time. Take the drone. It'll get you to the prison faster. the water. We need to get everyone clear. That will change nothing. Soon. Nowhere will be safe. Got nothing left, Freeze. No one would blame you for throwing in the towel. This. This 
was meant to be my greatest creation. Just imagine if you had tried doing some good for once. Understand. Clayface fell in a turbine when he last fought Batman. How's he still alive? I'm not sure. He was torn to shreds. And yet, here we are. Guess getting blended like a smoothie wasn't enough for him. So, what did we learn about our new friend? Well, I've studied Clayface's DNA before, and this is unlike anything I've ever seen. The structure is constantly changing. It's it's like it can't reassemble itself. We're talking damaged nucleotides. Unstable phosphate groupings and synthesis abnormalities. I mean, abnormal even for Clayface. This sample seems especially disorganized, like, like it's trying to be five things at once. Oh, maybe it's because these pieces of him on their own aren't enough for him to stabilize into a singular conscious entity. <clears throat> you guys are doing your nerd thing again. Sorry. Clayface might be in too many places at once, and he's having trouble being anything because of it. But the more that Clayface comes together, the stronger and smarter he gets. We definitely do not want that. But what if he's already conscious? I mean, we can't just leave him like this. Putting him back together could endanger the whole city. We can't take that chance. Either way, it doesn't do us any good if we don't know where he is. The reservoir is connected to the city's aqueduct system. He could be anywhere. There are probably still bits of him in the water, too. It's nice knowing you, Jason. <laughs> He'll be fine. Probably. I'll scan the city for the Clay's unique signature. I'll let you all know if I find something. Yeah, have fun with that. took the hostages. Batman only showed up to help them. You fell into the turbine all by yourself. How would you know? You weren't there! I saw the security tapes. He didn't have anything to do with it. If Batman wants me to change the script, tell him to come down here himself. Let him come. He can't. He's dead. But he was in the reservoir just a few days ago. It's been almost a year, Basil. A lot has changed.
Batman's gone, Basil. This isn't gonna fix anything. This biopic is based on a true story. My story. And I won't let you ruin it. Free. I'm coming back home. Clayface got away. Grabbing them would take way too long. Hey, maybe we could use this one as bait. Oh. Mm -mm. This is going nowhere. you break something again? Huh. Looks like they're headed north now. Uh, Tim, the clay's moving. It does that sometimes. It's fine. Tim? Shit! Tim, it went down the drain. Why didn't you warn me? I did. He totally did. Guys, get over here! Every piece of clay face in town is headed for the reservoir. Great. Then we can take them all out at once. You saw what happened. If they blocked the pipes like they did here, it would build a lot of pressure. If the dam burst, it would flood North Gotham. We wouldn't have time to evacuate. I'll call Montoya and let her know what's going on. Yeah. <sighs> 
I guess we're done here. Belfry, Clayface is gone. Are you certain we're still detecting something? Readings are spiking. You must evacuate now. I'm sending the bat cycle to your location. Did you really think it would be that easy? <laughs> Looks like you had some fun. Now for the real fun part. Clean up and paperwork. Just another day at the office. Stopping a clay monster from drowning the city isn't the weirdest thing I've ever done. Gotham's gotta keep you guessing. And busy. The commissioner wants me to bag and tag each piece of clay individually. Thank you for that. Oh, I'll still have trouble making friends. <laughs> That's the understatement of the year. I swear, if you spandex people weren't so useful, I... Why do I even bother? Ugh. You don't understand your place. We earned our power. We shaped Gotham into the great city she is today. We are the protectors, not you. You're just bats. And I'll devour bats.
court of owls is watching from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow. And they rule you, one and all. You knew. All along, you knew, and you never told Bruce about the threat to Gotham. When I was still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining something. Something that seems like it might come from a Lazarus pit. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. Guess we know how the Talons are cooked up, then. Thanks for that. But... Why leave the court digging? Why not offer them a Lazarus pit? Then control them from the inside. <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such finality. And the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus Pits. <sighs> you don't treat the Lazarus Pits any different than the court. Oh, those are some harsh words. After all, your friend Jason benefited. What about what he wanted? Jason had no say in what you did to him. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. You don't get to talk about gratitude right now, Talia. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. I know you, Talia. You just want us to get rid of the voice so you can do whatever you want. What's your endgame here? I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. Hey, Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the Cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Just a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions, but free will's as good as gone. So what is a Talon exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Barrel zombie. Sounds like Jason, all right. <laughs> I recognize a voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if- We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words, Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade, the event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich, dress up and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. With so many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party.
Gorillas of Gotham, may I please have your attention. It is my absolute pleasure to present our host for the evening. Seriously? If that's the voice, he's not even trying to hide it. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. So you made it here, all by yourself. I'm not letting you or the court destroy Gotham. Destroy Gotham? Now we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. Yeah, sure. You're just like every other masked villain. I'm not the one wearing a mask. Richard. Jacob Kane. But how did you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quieter about it. The people of Gotham may not be perfect, but they don't deserve this. You're destroying the city, not saving it. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends, the same enemies. It's madness. You're not serving us. I don't murder people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. You killed Kirk Langstrom and his assistant. That doesn't help Gotham. That helps you. Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce used his money to fight for this city. You used it to help yourself. Bruce would have hated you for that. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. We are nothing alike, Kane. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Lanks. Security breach. We're under attack in the ballroom. They came out of nowhere. Clearly, I have bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. No, no, please, don't! to enter the hotel I
I'd suggest a quick exit. The slaughter of some of our best and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe, Isabella Haas, Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the league. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. <sighs> the almighty voice was right, you know. <laughs> no one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. And let's be ready when we're caught in between them. Talia, you should have warned us. Your league, they killed so many people. Does this look like my league? Did they decapitate the court? Did you? No. Despite our best efforts, the voice is still around. Then the League will keep attacking, regardless of collateral damage. The court and the League fight in the street, and Gotham pays in blood. If we're not there, how many die? Countless. The League will decimate the city. And the court is preparing something even more impressive. Which is what? Langstrom wrote that living subjects could create more powerful talents. I don't want to be around when they get out. How do you even know so much about the Talons anyway? As much as I've liked our chats, Gotham is getting decidedly unfriendly. Don't come looking for me. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Raish is, was, a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. 
that suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. That is until he showed up and... Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss him.
Talons, the Labyrinth, all punishment for exposing the court. Mm. To think Jacob Kane ever thought we could be on the same side. The Labyrinth wasn't just meant to kill us. The court wanted to get in our heads. It might have worked. We'll be okay, Tim. Will we? <laughs> Batman didn't kill people, but where would he stand on soldiers lining up to be reborn as these monsters? I used to be dead. You think I'm a monster? We have one setback. And this is where you go, Tim? Murder? I get steering him away from killing people, but the Labyrinth was more than a setback, Babs. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. You're not Bruce. None of you are. Enough! Gotham practically lined up to kill Batman. Every time Bruce came home, bloodied, Near death, I patched him up, just as I now do for you. He was often angry, but he never stooped to their level. And neither will you. Alfred's right. Batman had a code. No matter how tough this gets, we can't betray it. The court is made up of Gotham's founding families. They'll protect their own like only family will. They may be related, but they aren't family. Not like we are. The evidence we uncovered against Kane at the hotel is pretty much bulletproof. Then our best course of action isn't war, it's prosecution. I don't think Kane's gonna honor a warrant. He will if we help the cops serve it. The same cops currently gunning for every cape in Gotham? I can think of at least one still on our side. Is the blindfold really necessary? Not anymore. Look at this place. Wait. Barbara? What are you doing here? Renee. Glad you could make it. Welcome to the Belfry. You're back, girl. <laughs> did your father know? If he did, he never said. But now you know. If you're gonna help us take down Jacob Kane, we need to trust each other. Dick Grayson. Well, I guess you're Nightwing then. Is it that obvious? It's pretty obvious. You don't even, like, do a voice or anything. Robin. I don't think we've met out of costume. Actually, we've met. Like, five times. Oh, yeah. Tim Drake, right? We done laying our cards on the table? We got a plan to go over. Jason Todd. The dead walk among us. I get that a lot. You get what we needed? The judge actually signed off on the Jacob Kane charge. Conspiracy to murder Langstrom. Some solid detective work. If you could get Kane out of that hidey hole, I can make sure every honest cop in Gotham is waiting out front. Huh. But that won't be easy. This building is basically a tank. Oh, we know. Armored facade. Anti-aircraft guns on the roof. That's why we have drones. I assume you don't have a permit for that. We absolutely do not. 
Gotta admit, Pennyworth, I was kind of hoping you were Batman and just retired or something. Hmm. While I'm flattered, the truth is unfortunately more grim. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. So, about that plan. The plan? Yes. You're gonna love it. To start, you'll rendezvous at the rally point in sight of the target, Kane Industries. You're doing what Bruce did. Fumbling in the dark, thinking you know what's best for Gotham, but you're fighting the wrong battle. The League of Shadows are fanatics who will slaughter half the city to purify it. So what? You're building an army to fight the League? To save Gotham from itself. Gotham needs hunters, our new knights. They thrive in the shadows like Bruce did, like you do. But unlike you, they know their place. You have submarines? You're like a cockroach. Take your best shot. You get one. You know, I would, but I just had my nails done. <laughs> I gave you a chance back at the orchard, but you failed me like you failed Bruce. He did die after you abandoned him, after all. <laughs> Gotham won't accept the court is real. Let alone believe I'm the voice. All anyone needs to believe is that you killed Linkstra. Uh, and what if I did? Huh? Where's the reporter who'll cover it? Or the cop who'll arrest me? Much less the judge who'll convict me. It's your lucky day, Jacob. We got them all waiting outside your door. My wife is still commissioner. I'll be free before sunup. Montoya, catch your perp. He's like this when I found him. <laughs> <laughs> Working with Vigilante's detective? Catherine will have your badge for this. Hell of a trade if it puts you away. Conspiring with vigilantes to put me away. <laughs> now you're in trouble. Catherine! 
Tell them I'm innocent. Don't give me that shit, Jacob. Don't you say another word. I can... Jacob! Jacob! Stupid, stupid man. We need to get these people out of here. Find who did this. Search everywhere. Search the rooftops. Go! Talia. was about to be exposed, Talia. It was done. Then you murdered Jacob Kane? No. We murdered him. The League of Shadows thanks you for your collaboration. Bruce was never this helpful. Hmm. You never change. I knew you were still involved with the League. How long did you plan this? Decades. I have a clarity of vision that my father lacked. Without him, the League can reach its full potential. Then why not just kill Raish? Would have been faster. I didn't need to. Right. So now what, Talia? High-five each other all the way back to Nanda Parbat? The Orchard Hotel was just the beginning. Our work in Gotham will serve as a beacon, a warning of what is to come. In a torrent of blood, we will purge corruption from this city, then the world. I have a few notes. One, a bit cliche. Two, start over and don't do any of that. Then I won't waste your time. I've only let you live this long because you were useful. That said, you held my beloved back from greatness. I was there after you left, Talia. He knew what you were. He saw you and hated you. Even Bruce would tell you. Nothing can stop the reckoning that's in motion. Farewell. Ah, oh, crap. Jacob in custody. We were finally gonna bring him in. And now, she's got everything she needs to start the next phase of her plan. She'll go after our allies first, to keep us out of the way. Exactly. That's why I already sent them a warning. Lucius is holing up in a secure location with a small security team. And Montoya's scrambling people she trusts. It won't be enough. They'll die without our help. League attacks. All over the city. It's already started. All of my networks. No sign of Talia anywhere. The League is still in Gotham. She's here. We just have to find her. Goddamn ninjas. So... This is weird. Weird like undead talents coming back to life, or weird like... Uh, how do I keep losing this freaking game? Weird like there was this reroute situation that I was tracking. But then there were fluctuations, and now... I think I found Talia. What were you tracking? At first it looked like nothing, but now... Whoa. That's a lot of power that's been siphoned. Not necessarily definitive, except... Except? The power was diverted... here. Is an Arkham empty? Like, you know... Collapsed? It has been for a couple of years. 
And with our missing ninja friend. Here. She's only been there for a few weeks. Maybe it won't be too bad. Or this is a trap. She's too good to just let us find her. But we have a lead. We do have a lead. Yeah. Talia wasn't here just to mess with us. She's got something else up her sleeve. Well, guess it's time to go back to that asbestos-encrusted shithole. Well, that can't be good. What's a creature like you doing in a place like this? You know, you really should not be fighting with those injuries. Chaos in Gotham City tonight after another vicious attack in Robinson Park. There are reports across the city of flying creatures wreaking havoc. Police are urging citizens to stay calm and remain indoors. I need to get back out there. The others are already on patrol. Once you are ready, I'm ready. When you met me, I was the most afraid I've ever been. I had nothing. And then this city became my home. Its people became my family. I finally felt safe. Gotham gave me everything. It deserves to feel safe too. I'm certain you already know what must be done. Talia al Ghul can't hide from me. She has access to a Lazarus pit in Gotham City. And I'm going to find it.
is a Lazarus pit. Your experiment at Arkham? It's over. You're done. Did you know, child? A Lazarus Pit can be used for more than just saving people from the brink of death. It has many purposes. In fact, a Lazarus Pit can make a mind more malleable. More pliable to suggestion. Wouldn't think you'd need that, considering how loyal the League is. Sometimes it's about more than your army. Sometimes it's about having the right general leading it. Honored, but definitely not interested. <laughs> you, like your precious Batman, were never able to save Gotham. I finally solved that problem. My father's mind was broken by repeated exposures to the Lazarus Pit. Unlike my father, I used that exposure to free Bruce's mind from his ridiculous oath. And you, you're right where we need you. Bruce's last test. Then we lead our new league into glory. Remaking the world. Defeat this pretender. Take back the city that is your birthright. Bruce! Letting people help you, Bruce. But this is something else. Look. Finally, I was starting to think I might actually have to hurt you. <laughs> Not possible. Keep me focused here. What's happening? We finished your last case, Bruce. And we did it as a team. The Court of Owls is real. Of course they are. We were handling it all until... <laughs> Why don't we get out of here, huh? Can't leave a job half done. We can deal with Talia later. Or you can deal with Talia now. This pretender pulls you away from me. Come back to me, beloved. I got you. Yeah. You always do. This is how it must be! If you die again, Alfred's gonna kill me! I got this one, Bruce. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Okay. We're finishing this now. Something funny? You... Dick Grayson. In your single-minded pursuit to capture me, you forgot to watch your back. Oh no. The fault is with you, Talia Al Ghul. Your abomination led us here. And now you and it will die. <laughs> you will never bring death to an Al Ghul. My beloved did train you well. <laughs> this is over. Now to our spoils. I see they wasted zero time replacing Kane. Take heart. Your death has purpose. You die, so the court lives forever. There's no way in hell. You get this Lazarus pit. Go! Deal with the permit. Without me. Become your own heroes. The knights that Gotham really needed. <coughs> Together you're stronger than the Batman ever could be. I'm so proud of all of you. And I'm sorry. What are you doing? You might want to run.
It's you! The rich want more! Politicians who pander to your reckless demands! Police! Who hurt the people they're supposed to protect! This Lazarus pit. Because I won't let you. The blast destroyed every ounce of the Lazarus pit. Now the Court of Owls has also gone to ground, for the most part. I'm sure they still whisper in a lot of ears we don't know about yet. Talia booked it, of course. There's nothing in Gotham for her now. She made sure to leave a parting gift, though. League Assassins. I guess to make sure we don't get too comfortable. Or just to keep an eye on us. What's left of the Batwing was recovered. Bruce is really gone. But while Gotham City's still dangling above an abyss, I've got a grip on it now. This city is no longer the court's plaything. Jacob Kane was just the beginning. The Court of Owls is still among us. They still think Gotham City is theirs to rule. But now we're the ones watching. They can no longer lurk in the shadows. They will face the night. The people of Gotham City deserve some good. It's overdue. I promise, I will fight for you until my final breath. If you're watching this... I'm Batman. Really, Dick? <laughs> Alfred had dinner ready an hour ago. How many versions of this are you gonna make? Let me check. In the event of my death at the hands of Crazy Quilt? Seriously? What about the event of my death? of starvation. Hear that? You're neglecting this poor kid. You promised we'd have dinner together as a family. You guys start, I'll be right up. Oops. My hand slipped. But now you're up, so let's go. This is important. Would you just go? Or is I forgot to eat and starve to death on your list of videos? I mean, if you want some advice on being dead, I got you covered. Oh, this is gonna be good. You're gonna need my password. 
Am not. You're always looking out for me. Yeah. <laughs> 